Okay, hi. Um, I present now the demonstration of uh, the equations of the standard model in depth theory. And uh, so the notation I will use are the classical ones. So capital E is a reserve energy, V is a structural volume, L is a structural length, and uh, I, I use the bracket notation for the reserve density. So if we want to uh, consider the equation for the reserve density, in depth theory, first we start with a reserve equation, and the reserve equation is a uh, that is by uh, d, a, d over dt, and it is in fact the rate of uh, assimilation minus the catabolic rate. And uh, now I'll explain what are behind these notations. So first, uh, the assimilation flux is the maximal assimilation flux per surface times a function of food, which is uh, the functional response. So F is a functional response of the system. It's something like, for instance, X plus K plus X, or X is food. And we multiply these uh, numbers by um, the, the surface. So surface is V power two, uh, two third. So this is uh, the, the anabolic rate. And now we have uh, to uh, calculate the, the equation of the reserve density. So the definition is this uh, ratio. If we uh, can calculate this, uh, this, uh, formula, this um, number, we have to apply the derivation, derivation rule, so it is uh, E d divided dt times V minus E dv dt, and we divide by V square. And this is exactly the same as 1 over V times uh, dE dt minus uh, the reserve density times dv dt. Since v is a structural volume, the equation for v is simply, so this is the volume of the, the body, and uh, here the equation is r times v, or where r is a function, which can be maybe complex, we'll see that later, and dv over dt is uh, the growth rate times v. E is the growth rate. Okay, so we can replace dv dt here, and we get the equation for this reserve density. It is equals to 1 over v times dE dt. So dE dt is uh, this expression. I replace this by PAM times F times V two third minus PC. And we have to delete to to, uh, to add this term, so E times R times V. And if we uh, divide this expression by V, we just have PM M times F V minus one third minus PC because we have to divide it by V, so now we have the bracket plus E times R. And we can uh, write it like this minus one third. V, v times power minus one third times PAM times F minus F of E V. I'm saying that here this uh, flux can be a, a function of the uh, two state variables E V. And uh, now I will show that uh, we, by using uh, the assumptions of the theory, we can simplify the expression of F. 
For this, I need two assumptions. So the first assumption is that uh, we have the weak homeostasis in depth theory. And the weak homeostasis is saying that uh, when uh, we are at equilibrium, that is when f is a constant for a full constant level, the ratio between uh, the reserve and the, the volume is a constant. So let's write E star, the equilibrium in a reserve density. At equilibrium, we know that this is a constant, I, I'm, which means that it is not, does not depend, it does not depend on uh, V. It is a constant. And the second assumption I have to do is the partitionability. Partitionability, which means that uh, if, we, if uh, we decide to uh, use two reserve compartments instead of one, for instance, then the flux leaving uh, the reserve density uh, is separated. So if I consider, for instance, one reserve instead of two reserve, the flux here can be divided in two fluxes. And this, if this is a proportion kappa of E, here I have a flux which is a proportion of this flux. So the flux here is proportional to kappa. Uh, this is the second assumption. So I will now show that uh, with this assumption, we can show that f of e v is a constant v, small v, times e. First, so I will show first that it, is, it does not depend on V. First step, F does not depend on V. And it is just an application of the implicit function theorem, because here we are, if we look at, uh, at equilibrium, we know that um, d over dt is equal to zero, which is equivalent because here we have this expression that f of e v at equilibrium is equal to p a m times f, and this is a constant. So I know that here we have a, a function of e on v which is a constant at, at this point, and what I have here, because of the weak homeostasis function, E star does not depend on V. And because of the implicit function theorem, this equality implies that F does not depend on F. This is an implicit function Theorem. So I can say that f is just a function of E star. And because now of the second assumption, the partitionability, I can say that f of E star v, e, v is equal to a constant v, uh, sorry, it's a, just a function h of E. And this is uh, because of the partitionability, and because we can replace uh, here E by uh, uh, a proportion of E, we have here just V times E. So because H of E of kappa E is equal to kappa H of E, 
for all kappa. Now, if I uh, summarize the result here, I can summarize the result. So in summary, we have for this expression d dt, the equation here, where f is simply a constant times e. So I can just say that we've, we prove that the reserve density has this equation, v, v power minus one third minus one third times P A M times F minus a constant V times E. To conclude, I will use a, a new notation. So if I look at this equilibrium, I can show that E star, the equilibrium, is equal to P A M times F over V. And uh, because this is an increasing function of f, and because f is between 0 and 1, the highest value of E star is obtained when f is equal to 1. And in this case, we get what we call the ma maximum reserve density, and it is equal to PAM over V. And as a conclusion, we can say that V is uh, equal to PAM um. over EM. Um, now, if I replace V by this expression in the equation of D, E, D, T, and using the normalized reserve density obtained by dividing the reserve density by its maximal value, we get D, E, D, T equals, so we use this equation divided by E, M, and this leads to, here we have a constant, here, minus E. And we get here the reserve density dynamics. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>